This is a follow-up video to my uh, previous video on the Blancabut head unit for the Ford Focus. Uh, before, I had actually added uh, just a standard auxiliary input um, where the CD disc changer feature was. And I said I was going to follow up and show you how to actually add Bluetooth um, so you wouldn't actually have to have any wires um, anymore. And that's what this one is going to be mainly based about. Uh, there'll be another one immediately after this also I'm going to do... Um, and it'll show you actually how to install that nifty little USB jack. Um, so you don't have to deal with any more uh, chargers or unsightly uh, uh, wires um, strung across all over the place on your floorboards. Um, so this, like I said, is just going to be the Bluetooth part. And I'm going to give you a little demonstration how it works. Um, the Bluetooth module itself, um, it's normally used uh, with a... Uh, cigarette outlet. Um, you can see that mine is no longer there. Um, but the way I wired mine was um, I actually used a cigarette outlet and it's actually behind the dash and I'll show you in a second um, just to make it easier and I didn't have to disassemble anything. Uh, but I didn't use the power source um, from the cigarette outlet uh, that was there. Uh, if you use the cigarette outlet power source um, the way the Ford Focus is in uh, a lot of different Fords, is that the uh, cigarette outlet always has power, no matter if the vehicle is turned on or turned off. Um, and rather than have it on all the time, I only wanted it on when the actual radio was on. Uh, so I found a, uh, a wire that was left over from the head unit that wasn't uh, being used for anything, um, and it only supplies 12 volts when the actual head unit's on. Um, so I actually just grounded it with the, uh, or the, the negative wire. I ran to the actual, uh, cigarette outlet, uh, wire, and then the positive 12 volts I wired up from the back of the head unit. I just extended a little wire, um, and put a little, uh, connector on it to plug into the, the cigarette outlet that used to be there. Um, so to give you a rundown of how it works, um, basically all you gotta do is turn your head unit on. And you can probably barely see it because of the light. Um, but you can kind of maybe see an orange glow right now on there. Um, if you actually press the button, it should connect and turn blue. There it goes. Now it's connected. <laughs> it's connected to my iPad over here. And uh, I can go ahead and start. Uh, some music, and right now, you can see top pan corner, focus, focus, there you go, so the Bluetooth module is on, um, and it is uh, currently playing uh, music from my iPad, and you can see that there is no actual wire plugged in. Um, <laughs> in the further show, uh, under settings, go under Bluetooth. It's a car audio connect is what it's connected to, and I can turn that off, and you'll see the sound difference. And then it just disconnected, um, and it stopped playing whenever it disconnects, but so you can definitely tell that there's a sound difference, but uh, go ahead and turn Bluetooth back on. What? And uh, all you gotta do is press the button to reconnect. I don't know if I press it hard enough. This isn't connected. There it goes. So it takes a second. Um, and then after you actually turn off the head unit or turn off the car, uh, it loses power, so it will no longer be connected. Um, kind of looks like there's a bluish tint to it, but it's actually off. Um, and then you'll also see that it is no longer connected to the car audio connect. But then all i got to do is turn it back on. It will supply power back to the Belkin. Um, I just got to tap it once to get it back paired, and then it should show in a second that it's going to connect. It connected, 
and then you just gotta tap it one more time to start your music back up again. So I tap the button one more time, and it continues to put your music up from the stopping point. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, the, the way you actually uh, wire it behind the dash is pretty simple. Um, I'll go ahead and show you that. Um, all you really have to do is take that air vent out, and uh, our cars, uh, once you take that off, you it just drops right into um, that, that section right there. So there's nothing separating um, anything in between here. Uh, so basically just take a towel to protect the finish of the plastic, um, shove it in there, and you can just kind of see I'm just going to shimmy it up just to get the connectors down. Um, I just popped it loose, and then I just ran the wire back in there, and you can see the head units right there also. Um, and I'll pull that out uh, right now just to show you how I did it. <coughs> uh, so you take it out. Okay, and you can kind of see that where that uh, splice is. Um, I had cut that wire off really short before. Um, it was actually just as long as these other ones, um, but uh, I, I didn't realize I was actually going to need that, so I just went ahead and cut it short because it was supplying 12 volts before, and I didn't want to short it out with anything. Um, but uh, all you got to do is take that wire, and I'll, I'll show in, a, in the description which wire that is um, it's right next to that yellow one. I think they said this is like the, the Volkswagen harness that you actually use for uh, the, the block of punt uh, head unit. And uh, basically, I just <laughs> attached a, a standard uh, red wire. I think this is like 22 gauge wire, um, and ran that all the way over here. And that is the cigarette outlet that used to be right there. Um, and uh, tape that up really nicely so I don't actually ground it on anything. Uh, there is a lot of metal pieces back there, um, and I don't want to. So to just make sure that uh, when you wire that in there, um, that it's, uh, nothing's exposed. Um, and the connectors I used, uh, they're pretty standard. Um, they, they come in any kit you can get at Walmart. I'm going to put this down for a second so I can show you, actually. And, and like I said, it's just the standard cigarette outlet, so there's no modifications you have to do to the actual Belkin unit. It just kind of sits in there. Um, but, uh, let's see. Go ahead and take it off for you just to show you. I know this isn't the prettiest job, but it works. Okay. So I get all my tape off. And these cigarette outlets are, are really easy. They're just, uh, this is the Ford OEM one. Um,. Okay, so it's just that standard connector. See if I can focus on that. And uh, that just plugs into that uh, that male right there. So I just plug it in, it slides right on. Like I said, these are just standard connectors that go, you can get from any kit. Um, and I just connected to that. And now that uh, cigarette outlet will only have power whenever uh, the radio is actually turned on. Um, and you can see that orange plug right there is the uh, OEM Ford connector for the cigarette outlet. Um, I just uh, used uh, the male plug end of this. So there, there's two different ones. There's a male and a female. That's the female that's on there right now. And then the male counterpart to that, um, I actually just uh, spliced in there. And I used the blue connectors because there's actually two wires coming off each one. Um, one is for uh, the grounds up here and one's also a positive uh, for future expansion um, actually might actually add another uh, power source up here that I just wanted future expansion and then there's another set of wires uh, positive and negative that I ran all the way through my center console to actually back here and I added a uh, 12 volt um, cigarette outlet so I went to the Ford dealership and just picked up another one uh, the uh, ring that's around it, that black piece, is uh, from the, the front. Oops, sorry. <laughs> um, 
I don't even know how I had it orientated. Hope that's nope. Okay, that's right. Um, the black ring um, actually holds it in. Um, there's like these little clips around the the edges, and uh, I can actually kind of show you. This plastic piece just kind of pops off. Um, I use a uh, an oscillating tool, um, uh, just a little standard Harbor Freight one. Um, to actually cut out some of the plastic that's in there. Uh, it was pretty simple to do. You just got to take some measurements. Um, but I, I mainly eyeballed it all. Uh, but it, it, it's pretty darn centered, I think. Um, and, you know, I never even understood why this, you know, space was even here. It doesn't really, you know, provide anything. So it doesn't actually get in the way. Um, but I just wanted the ability to have a power outlet since I uh, replaced the power outlet in the front with a USB jack, um, and you can just see my, my red wires, um, down there, um, I actually ran out of the red connector, so I had to use the blue one down here, um, the, the blue one's for a thicker gauge wire, um, but pretty since those aren't going to move, they really, um, Uh, now this is curved, so it's not going to be exactly flush, but you can barely notice that. Um, but it turned out really well, I, I think. Um, and that always has power now. Um, so anytime that you're parked or whatever and you just want to charge something, uh, you can do that. Uh, like I, you know, I have my power inverter here that I can use. Or um, uh, the way I charge my iPad, I have a, a iPad stand that goes in the passenger seat. I'll actually uh, just use this so I don't actually see the wire anywhere. And uh, I'll run the wire uh, straight up to the front um, and then I'll hook it on to my iPad mount. And uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the Bluetooth parts. Um, uh, and uh, basically just tie up your wires nicely and make sure you always cover up the, uh, the positive uh, terminal um, just so you don't actually, uh, short anything out. Uh, I had actually blown, um, uh, two head units now. Uh, I, don't, I don't know exactly how, but, uh, I destroyed two block upon head units. So this actually ended up being a pretty expensive job. So just be sure you don't, uh, short anything out because it does get expensive after a while. Um, but anyway, that's it, uh, for the actual, aux oh, actually, you know, the auxiliary point, I forgot to tell you about the input. Okay, so you actually plug that in to the uh, cigarette outlet. It gets power whenever the radio is on. <laughs> this is a magnetic clip. It just kind of sits up there. Um, and then the audio cable from it um, runs off of the same cable that comes from it, <laughs> from the power. And then that you can actually just plug into the FRDW um, AUX cable. Um, and, you know... It's just a standard uh, connection right there. And uh, now the next video I'm going to show, I'm going to show you the uh, uh, USB auxiliary input uh, jack I've put in. Okay, thanks for watching.